In today's episode, we make this animated brush stroke. Okay, so we're going to start off making this by, you can either put in clips if you have the clips or if you just wanna make the animation, come down here and add a generator and add a solid color. And we're just going to take this solid color, make that into a compound clip. And at this point, if you have video, if you already have video and you just wanna add the overlay, you would already have something on your timeline. Um, you would then come up to wherever your stroke is, you would add your stroke in, then connect, uh, make it the same length, and then copy both of them. So this could be a video clip or the solid color like we just added. You would right click and then add new fusion clip. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make one clip here, but then when we go over to the fusion tab, it's going to have both pieces of media over here. So then you would be able to see your background and then see the stroke. Okay, so we're just going to bring these over here. And the first thing that we're going to add is we're just going to add in some text. And in our text, you're just going to type in something. And here in the second node, I have that stroke that I was talking about. So we're just going to have these two side by side. I'm gonna remove that merge. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Boolean in and we're just gonna add a normal Booleans. So once we have this in here, we're just going to connect this up and we're gonna take our text and then have that as the foreground so it's over top. And then we're going to change the operation to subtract. And here we have the text inside of the stroke. So now you can come back in and change whatever font you want to use. Um, I'm actually going to use a different one today. Let's see here. I'm gonna use this little guy. And then move your, you can move your uh, size and everything else so it fills out your stroke. So I would say something like that is gonna be good enough for me. The next thing that we're going to add in a background node, we're going to add in a paint node, and we're going to add in a merge node. So we're just gonna connect these up. Where we're currently at here, we're just going to connect this right in, and then our paint node, we're going to connect that into the foreground, and on our background node, we're gonna turn down the alpha and bring this over to our paint node. Now in our paint node, we're going to click this little button here, which will enable us to add a stroke path. We're just going to add that stroke path across and we can straighten this out a bit if you want to. Okay, come over here to our brush controls and we're gonna turn this up. And as you can tell, we, we moved it all the way to the side and it's 0 0.01 and it's at the end. Um, I don't really know why it does that, but you can change this to a higher number and then that will then become the default high number. And we're also gonna bring down our smoothness a bit. Not all the way, but pretty far. And the idea is that we just want to cover up the stroke. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the paint from the foreground and then we're going to um, reconnect it into the mask and then our background, we're gonna connect our background to the foreground. And then now we're just gonna click on our merge and we're gonna hit Control T to switch the foreground and background um, from, the, from this background node and then this Boolean node. So now the, uh, all of this over here is going to be the foreground and this background node is going to be the background of this for this merge. In our paint node here, we're gonna come down to Stroke Control and now if we move this, it will wipe across. So let's just bring it over to zero and be on a lower frame. So I'm running at, uh, I think my playback is 24 frames in this project, yes. So yours may vary. 
uh, how fast you want it to reveal, that's going to be up to you. Um, because I'm playing at 24 frames, my frame numbers might be a little different than yours, so keep that in mind. So I'm just going to start it at zero here at frame one, and then let's try frame, I don't know, 17, and then have that at a hundred. And now if we play this, it's just going to be a quick brush stroke. Alrighty, so then now that we're done, all we need to do is then connect it to our media out. If there is something on the media in that you did need, like that video that I was saying earlier, then you're just going to have to add an extra merge that you can connect this in. But because I don't need that, I'm just going to come out of here and go right into the uh, foreground or the background of the media out. Then I'm going to come over to the video editor again and bring this up, have my video clip that I want to have the wipe on. So like, let's say here, just going to bring that down. And now I have this effect on here. To be honest, that's pretty much it. You could just come over to your color tab and click on your video and color your video that as you needed. You now have your location or your title for that location and a cool little effect here. And I actually, I really like it. A little animated effect. That's pretty much all I have for you for today. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. If you liked it, if you have any suggestions for me to do in the future, also let me know down there. Again, my name's Jay Arn. Thanks for watching.